Hi, my name is Harnik Randawa, and in this video, I will be demonstrating the forward engineer functionality of dbWrench. In a nutshell, the forward engineer functionality, functionality allows us to propagate the changes that we've made to our database design within dbWrench and allow us to propagate those changes to the database on the server without us having to manually code the DDL SQL scripts to, uh, to have those changes applied. dbWrench will generate those the, the forward engineer, the DDL scripts for us. So let's go ahead and start this demonstration. Uh, first we need to open the forward engineer window and we can do that by clicking on this icon in the main toolbar here or we can go to the tools main menu and select forward engineer. This brings up the script view or the forward engineer window and uh, right now there's no script generated and uh, we'll go ahead and generate a script. Uh, it should be an empty script because we haven't made any changes to our design. So the two databases, the one on the server and the one in design should be ink and we should get an empty script. There we go. Uh, the two databases are already synced. So let's go ahead and make some changes to our database. Um, let's go ahead and use this table here, the language table. Let's go ahead and add a column. We'll add a description column. We'll go ahead and set it to null in case there's already some data in there. And we'll add a comment here. Okay. Go ahead and add that. Um, Let's make another change here. We'll take it. We've got a couple uh, named columns here. Maybe somebody might want to search on those eventually. So let's go ahead and add an index uh, on one of those. We'll add one to the last name. And we'll use the auto name functionality of dbWrench to give it a name. And there we go. We've added an index there. So now let's go to our script viewer and re recalculate a script. Now the script should not be empty because we've made some changes. And so here we go. We've got our script here in the main uh, script viewer text window. And we can also view the script from a more higher level point of view using the uh, script explorer window here. And uh, it breaks, us, breaks down the script into a bunch of nodes in a tree. And we can use this tree to select partial scripts if we wanted to run it. So if we only wanted to run the changes we made to the, uh, to the language table, we could select that node and it would only execute the, the DDL associated with that table. And same thing with the staff table. But let's go ahead and select the whole script and we'll go ahead and apply it. So to apply the script, we will use the, uh, the run script uh, functionality here and we'll go ahead and run it and up here in the in the connection we've specified the database server we will be uh, running this script against. Uh, if you don't know how to create a connection database see one of the other uh, connect, uh, videos uh, creating a connection. Okay so we've got our connection we've got our script let's go ahead and run it. We'll click the yes to the confirmation and here the status saying the Ford engineer script is run and it's already been running it's already done here we have the log which tells us the changes that have been made onto the server and um, so we can go ahead and see if these changes have been applied we'll recalculate the script this time we should get an empty script because again the design and the uh, and the server database should be in sync so let's go ahead and recalculate that it's to the server and it's done it and it says the two database scripts uh, the two database databases are synced and so that means that our description column and the index we added to the staff table uh, are now on the server. Um, that concludes this demonstration. Thank you very much.